Hi, this is Mac Minion. Today we're talking about the most underrated app in macOS Tahoe 26, the good old text edit. Yes, that same simple notepad most people open only to paste something quickly and close right away. But in Tahoe 26, this modest little app has turned into to a surprisingly powerful Swiss Army knife for text, packed with features most users don't even know exist. So sit back, get yourself a cup of tea, and feel free to open text edit on your Mac. We'll be repeating the tricks as we go. Let's begin. Let's start with the most important thing. In Tahoe 26, text edit is no longer just a write a note and close it kind of app. It's a universal editor that can be a super simple notepad, a lightweight pages is alternative, a format converter, and a solid workspace for text, code, notes, and quick drafts. Its first big secret is the two modes, plain text and rich text. Most people have seen this option, but very few actually use it deliberately. If you open the format menu, you'll see make plain text and make rich text. In Tahoe 26, Apple cleaned up the interface a bit. Switching is more obvious. Preferences are remembered for new documents and text edit handles copied text from browsers, documents, PDFs, and emails much more cleanly. Why is this great in practice? Imagine you need to pull pieces of text from five websites, a couple of PDFs, and an email and then turn it into a clean outline. You switch to plain text mode and all the unnecessary styling disappears. Fonts, colors, weird spacing, broken formatting, gone. You're left with clean text that's easy to work with. No formatting chaos, no messy indentation, a perfect setup for scripts, outlines, research notes, or video and podcast prep. Now let's move to the second feature, the one almost nobody talks about, using text edit as a quick HTML and markup scratch pad. In Tahoe 26, it still opens and saves HTML files without any trouble. But the real value isn't in that. It's in how you can use it. You can sketch the structure of a landing page or an email in simple HTML, save the file, double click it, and immediately preview the result in Safari. Who actually benefits from this? Content managers, bloggers, developers who don't want to launch a heavy IDE just to fix one small line and anyone who occasionally works with markup. Text edit is perfect for things like tweaking a couple of tags in an email, quickly adjusting text and checking the result in the browser, preparing a simplified template before sending it to a CMS. And thanks to Tahoe's updated interface and improved typography smoothing, working with code and text in the same window is visually easier. Fonts look cleaner and indentation behaves predictably. TextEdit inherits a whole set of useful system-level tools, smart quotes, m-dashes, autocorrect, typo fixes, automatic fractions like one-half, and more. In Tahoe 26, all of this ties in more tightly with Apple intelligence and the updated input system. What does that mean in real use? When you're writing a script, you don't have to manually insert m-dashes, adjust quotation marks, or fix small mistakes. The system handles it for you. When you create lists, text edit automatically continues numbering. When you type dates, addresses, or phone numbers, data detectors kick in, letting you open maps or add calendar events with a click. And if you work in multiple languages, for example, writing English terms inside a non-English script, text edit now handles mixed language text more gently. It breaks fewer words, forces fewer unwanted corrections, and respects your input more accurately. For anyone writing scripts or long-form text, this means less manual fixing and far fewer micro-adjustments on every line. macOS has had versions for years, but most users don't even realize it exists. In Tahoe 26, the interface is a bit clearer, but the core idea stays the same. Text edit automatically saves intermediate versions of your document, and you can rewind the entire history at any moment. Imagine this. You're writing a 10-minute script. Everything is going smoothly. Then you decide to improve a whole section, rewrite half of it, delete a big chunk, and 10 minutes later, you realize the original version was better. With text edit, you don't have to dig through old copies in your downloads folder. You just choose Browse All Versions and you're essentially looking at a time machine. Your current version on the right, earlier snapshots on the left. You can copy the exact piece you need from an older version and paste it back. No stress, no data loss. 
it's an extremely underrated feature. And in Tahoe 26, it feels even more valuable thanks to the system's overall focus on productivity and data safety. TextEdit isn't pages. It doesn't have complex layouts, style sheets, or templates. But in Tahoe 26, its basic tools have become strong enough that for many tasks, you don't need anything else. You can set a default font and size, SF Mono or Menlo for scripts and code, or SF Pro Text for regular writing. Adjust indentation, line spacing, and alignment. Create bullet and numbered lists instantly. Use colors and highlights to organize sections of your text. The key is that all of this works quickly and stays out of your way. One simple trick is to create a master template file, a document where your preferred font, spacing, and structure are already set, title, blocks, subheadings. Each time you start a new script, just duplicate that file and rename it. You get a consistent visual style across all your texts, predictable block length on the screen, a clean structure that's easy to read and easy to edit. And finally, here's how to make text edit a real time saver in your daily workflow. First, give it the role of your default scratch pad. Any idea for a video, any paragraph that, that pops into your head, any long reply. Start it in text shaped, you move it into the script, the email, or the post. Second, create a few working templates. A template for a 10 minute video script, a template for short reviews, a template for technical notes. Save them in iCloud, keep them visible in the doc or in your recents, and always start new projects from those files. Third, use TextEdit as a filter. Any messy text from the internet goes into TextEdit in plain text mode first, and only then into your main editor. You stop fighting invisible formatting, weird spacing, and broken styles, and focus entirely on content. And fourth, don't underestimate simplicity. In a world where every text editor tries to be a notepad, task manager, file storage, and social app all at once, the old, clean text edit in macOS Tahoe 26 feels like a breath of fresh air. It gives you a blank page and simply says, write. That's it. If you want me to break down more of Tahoe 26's quiet, underrated system apps, let me know what should be next. Finder, preview, freeform, reminders, or anything else.